Emily and I came out to uh, Death Valley to meet up with some people that we met in Asheville, North Carolina. We started this project called Backroad Ventures. So basically doing tour guides for people that are trying to do stuff that's uh, kind of similar to what we do, uh, which is like that overland classification. And uh, it brought us out to the desert and now I'm riding on top of a 4Runner. Through Death Valley. Or do you want to tell it? I think you should tell it because you do a better job. Why? Because I'm more animated about it? Yes. Here, tell the story. So, when Caleb and I got the FJ for the very first time in, back in 2015, within 24 hours, someone slid and T-boned us. It was about $13,000 in damage. We didn't get it back for three months. The day we go to pick it up from the body shop, Caleb over here. See, that's what I'm talking about. She's a little more dramatic about it than I am. This is out. even dramatic. They, these are just details. So Caleb decides, hey, we just have this not only brand spanking new car, but fresh from the body shop. Three months later, Let's go trail riding. So, yeah, he wants to go trail riding. I repeat, repeatedly said no. But um, as most of you wives, girlfriends, fiancés know out there that... That husband Art is always right, and he knows what's going on. No. He didn't listen. He still went. And needless to say, about five seconds onto the trail, what he a, literally... I can still hear it to this day. Maybe because like we still did this trail riding, but it like it went from being pretty wide to really narrow. But may I remind you, he has plenty of time to back up at this point, back up and say, you know, that could have been fun, but oh well, next time. No, he says, let's move forward. Let's move forward through all of this dead brush because it's the middle of January. We get this car back, and yeah both sides of the car gets forced into this brush and completely 
scrapes both sides of the car. Sorry, it was probably the most traumatizing thing because I immediately got quiet. We pulled into our driveway and I began crying because Caleb then had to fix the paint job that was fresh. And by fix, I mean buff it out, still see it, and almost three years later, we are back road purpose, and the sign on our car is what hides that scratch. Functionality. No, not functionality. And so what brings that up is we were, I was trying to get these cows that we just went by on this trail, and he scrapes the car again. I'll just go ahead and ruin the surprise. He scrapes the car again. Maybe it was just the sign of our logo. Maybe I have to buff it out. Maybe I have just accepted the fact that this is no longer my car. I think I kind of got used to that January of 2016. Live and learn. YOLO. Where'd that other 